Hello YouTube, I'm Bill Outdoors. And today we're going to go to uh, a nice little walk along the coast path. Um, it's up where I live in Minehead. Um, it's about an hour as long, three quarters of an hour, hour or something like that. So, uh, uh, see how we get on and I'll catch you in a bit. Cheese and potato. Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, yeah, we're out of destination, me and babes. Um, I'm trying to fish eye uh, setting on the camera today, so... Uh, Hopefully it'll be alright, and um, hopefully you'll like this uh, walk as much as I will. And um, anyway, let's get cracking. I'll clip you onto my little bag and uh, see how we get on. So, uh, catch you in a bit. It's been a while since I've um, been out. Been really busy in real life, and uh, I've got a couple hours spare Sunday afternoon, about uh, twenty past one. That reminds me, better set a timer for the clock. <coughs> it's about twenty past one uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, the kids are cooking dinner again, roast beef. Woohoo! Uh, so I thought I'd kill a couple hours and. Uh, Bring you on a beautiful walk. I don't know if you can see that, but we're on top of a hill. That's uh, my Ned Arbor down there. Uh, the weather's well. It's, at least it's not raining. We've had some heavy rain the last few days, and um, hang on, my dog's just gone to toilet a minute. Let me grab a bag. I try not to get it on. I don't know what this fish is. Uh, Night. But yeah, it's a beautiful walk down for here, and I thought uh, I'll try a fish eye setting on my camera because uh, it is so beautiful, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to catch it all. So and that's Wells over there. But the, uh, it's, we're well into spring now in the summer um, in the UK and everything's growing, all the flowers have come out and all the trees are lush and green. And the last time I come down here there was a lot of quarry about, a lot of squirrels and uh, feral doves. I uh, don't know what happened to my old, uh, my last video on YouTube. Uh, when I uploaded it, the quality had seemed to have gone right out of the pan. They gave me the option of uh, doing its thing to the video, which I clicked OK and uh, seemed to have made it worse. It, so I shan't click that option today. Beautiful. So privileged uh, living so uh, close to beautiful walks. And this camera's set on the right angle for you guys. You can hear the sea crashing. Uh, it's high tide here, so uh, the tides are nice and close, and you've got that beautiful sea air smell. <coughs> I 
I'm going to be busy for the next few weeks. I've got a lot of work. And um, I'm going to be busy at the weekend. It's my uh, brother's 60th birthday. Bank holiday weekend. Huh. It's a beautiful sea. Take the view in. Uh, I don't know where all this is going to pick up. But the last walk we went on was Blue Anchor, which is over that way. I don't know if you can see it properly. Just over there. And, um, yeah, I thought I'd shake it up a bit and come somewhere else. Uh, we haven't been on this walk with you guys for, well, we haven't, so. Um, the last time I came here was about six, seven weeks ago. And all the trees were bare. But it is beautiful down here. Dendrums are flowering, beautiful purple flowers. But uh, yeah, it's quite steep down there. That. I don't know how well this camera's going to pick up the, the incline. I wouldn't like to slip down there. <coughs> the bit we're on now is called the uh, the higher road there's a car parked up there what we'll do is we'll start taking the lower road uh, it's a beautiful walk out to the beach you know, I would normally come I normally bring me pipe and sit back there on that seat and, and enjoy a smoke but I, uh, I didn't bring it with me today. Three choices of path here. I'm hoping this fish eye will give you the uh, the right angle so you can see all three paths. We've got the top road that way, middle road and lower road. Um, let's take the middle one. I know I said we'd go on the lower road, but uh, as you all know me, I uh, I am still recovering from that accident and. Steep inclines really, really screw with me. There's some lovely songbirds chirping in the background. A beautiful size that yew tree. Look at the size of it. <laughs> How thick the tree is. Um, in work, I went to a place the other day, and uh, I had some of the tallest trees in Great Britain there. So uh, 
I plan to do a walk around there. Um, the trees are humongous. I've never seen anything like it. Not in this country, anyway. It's in a little valley. And, um, I suppose where they're located, there's a stream running straight past it, so they've had plenty of water and, uh, the shelter from the elements, and that's why they've grown so big. God, look at the pigeons here. Loads of them. I need to go out shooting. Um, I haven't been to my permission now for a number of weeks. I've just been so busy. I haven't had no time to myself. Um, I had a few days off of work <clears throat> two weeks ago, which uh, uh, I used that to uh, paint my house. And uh, with working and everything else, you just don't get any time to yourselves to enjoy life. So uh, I'm looking, Dave. I'm looking forward to the day I retire, and then every day I'll be my own, and I'll be able to do what I want. I'm planning on uh, buying a canal boat and. Uh, Living on that. Where are we at? Just over ten minutes. <coughs> uh, even though it is well into spring now, it's still a bit nippy, which is cold, you know. We've had some strong wind and rain, uh, rain for two days, uh, middle of last week. And I thought to myself, I hope this isn't going to be the start of another three months of solid rain. Uh, luckily, the clouds broke. Uh, it was very windy, so what cloud we had seemed to get blown straight away. Blown away straight away. That wood up there in that tree, I wonder if anyone's actually put that there, or it's just one of them things. I brought a catapult up with me last time I came up here. Had a couple shots at some squirrels, but... Uh, being this walk's in the middle of a built-up area, it is quite busy. Uh, so I tend not to uh, shoot in public if I can help it. General public get the wrong idea of what it's all about and uh, also too eager to phone the police and crash you up. Oh, beautiful songbirds here. Big fungus. I've got plenty of fungus at home. I, uh, every time I go out walking, I normally clip off a little bit and put it in my bag and go home and dry it out because it makes good tinder or plasters or whatever's needed. There's a lot of quarry about here. A 
don't know if you can hear the uh, songbirds. Um, my camera's not in a case, it's just on a, like a little clippy thing. So the microphone is exposed. There's just something about being a rat, but you know, being in nature and having nature all around you without the hustle and bustle of towns, and it's just so peaceful. You know, there's a thing going around on Facebook, I don't know if you've seen it, you probably have. Uh, would you live in this log cabin for a million pounds without any internet? And I keep posting up, I'd live there for free, <laughs> as long as I could stay there. Ooh. What's that then? Rabbit? Something scuttled in the heads in. Bird? Is that a one there? Long time, just over 15 minutes. I'll give you a few more minutes and uh, stop you and restart you again. Looks like we've had a bit of a clear out since I come up here last. Near the wood pigeon, he's pretty close. He's a bit overgrown there. Eh? The way is shut. <laughs> Not many people's been down there recently. At the beginning of the walk, you know, I said that's the lower road. Uh, that's the path there for the lower road. We decided to take the middle one instead. Oh, excuse me, got hiccups. <clears throat> hey, baby. Right, that's coming up to 20 minutes, so uh, I'm going to stop you and start you, so uh, catch you in a bit. Uh, welcome back YouTube. Um, right, let's carry on with the walk. Let me set the timer. Another 20 minutes. 
still plenty of songbirds about. <clears throat> I've seen a stag up here before, so if we're lucky, we might see one again a day, but depends how active this place has been throughout the day. Um, Ocean again there. This angle's good. I don't know whether it's pointing up too much or not, I don't know. Yeah, it was too far down. So, my fingers crossed it's alright. As you can see, the beach down through there, look. You might be able to hear the waves crashing along it. I'm curious to see what this fish eye actually does to the videos, whether you see a lot more. Um, or whether it make it look like you're in a goatfish bow. Uh, it's quite a steer, uh, steep slope. Drop down now, I wouldn't like to go over the edge here. I don't know if this will pick up the distance, it's not very good, but that's wells over there. about or crows I'm running nesting up there look three of them <clears throat> uh, quarry never presents himself like that when I'm hunting. I'm just about to join up with the top road now.
my baby. There's normally one or two cars parked here because uh, the path we're going to lead now takes you down onto a beach and uh, it's pretty good for fishing. Uh, why have they been cutting down the trees there? I don't understand. You know, just cutting them down and leaving them. I'm not taking them away. There's a few up there. Of a really steep uh, bank. Like I said, I wouldn't like to fall down there. Keep away from the edge, babes. I think my dog would even struggle trying to get up there. Some people down there. I'm not going to bother going there. It's near a field. Down to the beach over there, look. So. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Why not? Is that a boat down there? The orange boat through the trees. Looks like the um, Coast Guard. Afternoon. Train spot, isn't it? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try and keep this uh, video for about an hour because, uh, like I said, I've got my dinner being cooked and. Uh, I don't really want to be late for it. Yeah, well, if you guys uh, like the videos I'm making, uh, please like and subscribe because it'll help my channel grow and uh, it keep me interested in posting up videos. <clears throat> I've got a lot, uh, quite busy over the summer with bike shows and uh, 
hunting and other things I've got planned. So uh, keep thumbing up and subscribing and uh, like I said it'll help me out loads so That's quite a steep gradient up through there. Got a load more ramblers coming up this side, so uh, we'll crack on. see that very often. I tie in uh, so close to the ground. Anyone could access that. No baby. Come on girl. Hmm. There's somebody canoeing down there. I don't know if you'll see him. I've ordered one of these uh, lenses you can stick onto cameras, it's on a clip. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Afternoon. Right. Come on, babes. <clears throat>
Wait. Come on. Too old for that. You're too old for that. I might do a stealth bug out up here. I don't know if you can see that canoe over there. It's got a high vis yellow jacket on, or green, whatever they are. But there's yeah, some lovely little spots. There's a spot just there. It's nice and flat. I'll be able to get my little Dutch army tent up there, but it is a bit close to the main path, but you know. Test out how good the uh, camo is on it. There's some nice flat spots up there too. Looks like there's a big flat spot just up there. On that plateau bit. Uh, this might be good for um, hammocking up here, but I'm a big chap. And uh, I don't try and sit on one just in case a bloody rope snap. Well, I've seen some hammocks on Amazon which are rated up to 440 kilos uh, but you know well, what can you get for 20 quid it's uh, there's a compromise somewhere <clears throat> and uh, people rate these DD hammocks and tarps but unless you've got 200 quid to spend you know, why can't somebody produce an excellent tarp and hammock for the average Joe, you know? I work bloody hard for my money and uh, as fast as it goes in the bank, it, it's, it comes out even quicker. There's a few spots down there. <clears throat> yeah, so if you'd like me, uh, if you'd like to see a stealth bug out up here, uh, click that like button down there. And uh, if I get enough likes, I shall come out. I don't really have much to say today, I'm just uh, taking in all the sounds and sights here. Because <clears throat> you never know. There's a squirrel up there. Jump from tree to tree. Go on, babes. Go on. That downhill uh, walk looks so tempting, but I can imagine the climb's a lot steeper, so uh, we'll go back up where the way is shut. <clears throat> I should have bought me little hand so I could have cleared a little path for that.
take the time. Whoop, just gone 20 minutes. Uh, uh. I better stop you there and start your game, so uh, catch you in a bit. Oh, welcome back. Uh, start your game for another 20 minutes. Just check the battery a minute. Oh, the battery's running low, so I'll have to keep an eye on it. I did bring some with me today, so uh, let's just hope it can last a little bit longer. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that, um, my battery did go flat, that only lasted for about 45 minutes that one, uh, well I'm glad I bought some spare ones anyway, so uh, let's put you back on my bag and continue with the walk shall we? managed to get some uh, more batteries from Amazon. I went on there and it was uh, like a warehouse deal, whatever they called, and uh, I got two extra batteries and a charger. You can charge both batteries up at the same time for nine quid, which is nine UK pounds. And uh, yeah, quite happy with that. I've got a few now. Um, I also bought one of those uh, power banks. Uh, you can recharge them on a USB, uh, they're not too bad, I got charges my phone up about three times um, from flat, so uh, you know for another tenner you've got peace of mind when you're out in the woods. Um, I tend not to use my phone now for recording unless it's at night because uh, I've got a, a camera bit on it. Look, there's, a, there's an egg there, I just noticed. I don't know if you can see that. wouldn't know what uh, species of bird it come from. Uh, could be a dove, or a little songbird. And then there's the other bit of it there, look. Cell springs there, everything's uh, sprung into life. See, um, there's another place down there, it looks like I could um, come up and do a stealth bug out. It looks like a wall, it looks like it's an old building of some, some description. I don't know if the uh, lower path we've seen go past it, I don't know what it is. An old lookout tower in for World War Two or something. There's plenty of these up here. this camera pick up it's a bit dark down there oh yeah there, there's the bottom path because uh, there's those uh, people what were behind me down that way so they went that way a little uh, thing full of water there for the uh, wildlife to drink from uh, and that's nature's uh, drink hole for the birds and the insects and whoever else found it squirrels Yeah, I went to uh, cut down um, 
some stinging nettles in the back garden last weekend and uh, I had some pots up there and a piece of old um, like roofing felt from when I put my shed up and uh, as I moved the roofing felt there was a, a nest of uh, slow worms. Uh, I was a bit slow, I didn't have my camera with me because I wasn't on planning on taking any pictures when I was doing the gardening so uh, I put the piece of uh, roof and felt back, ran to the house, got my camera, came back, lifted up the roof and felt, but they had gone. But there was uh, five or six of them there, of uh, different sizes. There was a gold coloured one, uh, and a couple of silver ones and that. Uh, it's always very, very nice to see in the garden. Uh, my neighbour, He's out there every day weeding and doing other things to his garden, which, you know, it looks quite nice, but at the end of the day, he hasn't got the wildlife in his garden like I've got in mine. And wildlife, love it when you just leave things. You know, they love bits of old cloth and bricks and... I cut a tree down and I stood up the wood pile and um, I've got wood louse and fungus and loads of things living off of it which of course in turn will feed all the wild birds and, and what else feeds on them so uh, taken out of me this little bit. Oh, I forgot to set the bloody timer. How long we've gone about? If I put six or seven minutes. Yeah, I bought one of the mode dash cams off eBay from China. Uh, seven quid it was, but it's supposed to be in 1080p uh, recording the night. Um, so I'm in the processes of uh, hacking that into a night scope for my hunting setup. I just like I said, I just haven't had the time to sit down and do anything at the minute. I'd like to just bug out for a week. Some birds are back, I didn't hear them for a while, I might have spooked them. This walk's just a little bit over an hour then. Uh, if no one's up here, sat on that sea, uh, we'll sit there for a few minutes and take in the view. And I'll catch my breath again, give me old uh, legs a rest. This bit always reminds me of uh, when I went to Torremolinas in Spain with my parents 
years and years and years ago we went up for a walk up around the hills around the back of Tormorellinus and there was a a walk just like this with a bench overlooking the uh, the ocean obviously it's uh, a lot warmer there and uh, the water seems to be a lot bluer but on a day like this it's not too bad here itself so uh, let's just sit here for a few minutes and take in the view there's a few uh, canoers out there Yeah, like I said, I normally sit here on the way back from me walks up here and I uh, fire up a pipe. And I smoke my pipe. But, um... The amount of people that frown on you when you're sat smoking in public nowadays is uh, horrendous. That's why I like going to the woods so much, because I can just put the tent up and I've got my own little space so I can, um... Enjoy smoking me pipe without prejudice or bias, and I just enjoy it. You know, it's a dying breed now. You know, I, I like my snuff as well, uh, but that's all going to change in the UK. You know, they're getting rid of all the flavoured, scented uh, tobaccos, and you know, they're really destroying it for the smoker. Uh, which is a shame really because I really enjoy smoking, you know, I don't do it because I have to, I do it because I really enjoy doing it and uh, it's such a shame. Come here babes. Come here baby, good girl. Come on then. Come on. Good afternoon. Got to set it, didn't I? <laughs> a brain like a sieve I have. Well, I hope this um, fish eye settings come out all right, otherwise, that'd be an hour and a little bit of uh, wasted footage. Uh, I might post it up anyway. I haven't got that many videos on my channel yet, and uh, I suppose any video, you know, for, for other people who are just starting out on YouTube and you know, it might give them a, a general idea of what these cams can do and what the different settings does. I've I loaded up a couple at 4K and then uh, 1440, 2K, 60 frames a second, 1080p, 30 frames a second, 1080p. And um, the last setting I haven't tried on the air yet is the uh, 120 frames a second at 720p which is obviously slow motion. So uh, I'd like to catch some footage for, you know, maybe hunting or shooting in the back garden or something or... And I am looking out for a different camera. The, I don't know if I've already told you this in a previous video, but I did originally buy this camera um, for, for doing ride outs, unglue the uh, base to the uh, to my helmet and uh, and then clip it on. But when I got the camera and I found out it'll only record a maximum of 25 minutes at a time, um, which is a bit useless, really, isn't it? Especially when you're on a motorbike, you can't keep stopping every 20 minutes when you're in a big group of people just to reset your camera. Uh, which I thought for an action cam, you know, it's, it's stupid. So if you guys can recommend a helmet cam or a cam I can put on my fuel tank what doesn't need stopping and starting every 25 minutes, I'd be much appreciated. Uh, leave a comment. 
um, of your recommendations and uh, your experiences and uh, we can take it from there but anyway I'm coming up to the last 30 feet of my walk I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have this is your car Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it because I certainly did. Got the blood flowing, and now I can uh, go home and eat that roast beef dinner without no uh, feeling sorry that I put on a bit of weight because I've already burnt off a few hundred calories. So uh, I'm gonna leave you at that, and I'll catch you later, YouTube. Bye.